Hey everybody, it's Matt. Taking a look today at two different Graco car seats. We've got the Trio Grow Snug Lock up in the front here and in the back here is the Forever. Now both of these are multi-stage car seats, which means that they are the only seats that you'll need for your child from the time that they are infants to the time that they've outgrown and no longer need to sit in a car seat. So in the different phases, obviously you're gonna start with a rear facing and then move them to forward facing depending on their age and depending on their weight. I should talk about the different weight limits. So the Trio Grow here, it uh, starts at a lower weight limit of five pounds and goes to 100 pounds depending on um, the configuration. And with the Forever, it actually has one of the lower lowest weight limits I've seen with a um, lower weight limit of four pounds, an upper weight limit of 120 pounds. So uh, that's quite the, quite the stretch there. You'll see that both of these seats are configured to 10 headrest positions, as well as six recline positions. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with each seat now and just take you through a quick tour of each seat, as well as the features. Let's get started with the Trio Glow Snug Lock. The name Snug Lock comes from the, the harnessing system that is at the bottom of this. Um, if you are familiar with the way that the latching harnesses work inside the seats of some new even flow seats, like the uh, Revolve 360, very similar type of methodology there. Um, as you can see, it's 10 different positions with the back here and the back along with the harness are on a sliding track, which means that you don't have to do any sort of repathing, which is awesome. And uh, let's just take you around the side really quick here. So really good marking here to show you the six different recline positions that the seat offers as well as instructions on how to mount the seat. And there is a ball level here as well for when your uh, seat is rear facing so that you can make sure that the seat is level properly. So just a couple other little things here. The seat reclines through the button here. So you'll pull it and then you'll push the seat back, which I'll show you um, in a future video here, as well as showing you the harness system that is underneath. Uh, one thing I should also mention that I really like is that this comes with an anti-rebound bar. So this is for the rear-facing um, era of your seat, the first year or so of your child's life, where you put uh, you have an anti-rebound bar. And so what this does is, if you are in an accident, it minimizes the movement of your seat going forward here. Uh, there have been some studies that have been done showing that um, you know with that much decrease in motion in an accident, your child does stay safer. So I really like. Um, anti-rebound bars they don't come with every all-in-one seat and in fact I've probably reviewed more seats that didn't come with an anti-rebound bar that did uh, but I consider it to be a big um, a big benefit and a big luxury when you can find a seat with one so let's take a look at what makes the Graco snug lock the snug lock so I've already taken the infant cushion out here I'm just gonna put that off to the side what you're gonna do is you're going to pull the head and harness piece up here and then you'll want to undo the harness and loosen them. Actually, let me just loosen them first. And make sure they go off to the side. I'm going to flip this up. This clips in, but I've already sort of undone it for the purpose of this video. I'm going to feed the bottom part of the harness through. And now underneath here, you'll see a couple things. So this is where your uh, harness will be stored when your child no longer needs it but then you also see this bar here. So this bar is the snug lock and it moves depending on whether you're forward facing or rear facing your child. If you're rear facing, what you're gonna end up doing is twisting this and feeding the belt paths through here. And once that's done, you put a little pressure here and you clip that into place. Now, when your child moves into a forward facing state, you just pull this up here, give it a little twist. And as you feed all of your belt paths and things through here, clip it into place. And again, you're gonna to to, gonna to wanna to put a little bit of pressure here. So again, remember when you're installing this, you wanna make sure that there's around, you know, no more than about an inch of movement on each side. And uh, once this is done, you can put this all back together and uh, you'll be done. Just a couple quick notes on the installation of this seat. So I've brought it downstairs and leveled it onto sitting with my SUV here. So as you can see, it's leveled. The recommendation from Graco is that you have at least 80% of this base sitting comfortably on your car seat. The universal anchor tether is right underneath here, and as you can see, it's 
more of that old old style traditional clip and so that's going to go in there making sure obviously that you follow the instructions that i showed you on how to activate the snug lock for rear facing um, i've also put the anti-rebound bar so that you could take a look at how it looks when the seat is leveled and sitting all right let's have a look at the forever seat and the forever seat is one that um scores really really well among uh, car seat reviews and other parent bloggers and this is generally one of the favorite car seats that you see reviewed um, some people consider this to be one of the best in class now one thing i will mention is that the forever is a little bit more expensive than a lot of the other seats out there including the trio grow but again um, you can't you can't put a price on quality when it comes to things like this um, a few things I should mention here is that this has, um, in addition to the reclines at the front, this has Graco's Inright Universal Anchor System, which uh, I've always been a really big fan of. It's really just a push button as opposed to the um, more traditional uh, metal clips that you see, including the one on the Trio Grow. Um, again, this has a 10-stage sliding um, headrest here. So again, you don't have to do any sort of um, uh, repathing of the five-point harness because it just slides up and down. If we go around the side now, you'll see that um, there's six different recline positions again, depending on whether you're rear-facing or forward-facing, uh, with clear instructions along the side, and there's also a level here too. Uh, one thing in closing that I should mention is that the forever, uh, as you can see, the recline is here and you just pull that up and you can um, move the seat about. The other thing I should mention is that you can see here there's no holes for an anti-rebound bar. This seat doesn't come with an anti-rebound bar. Um, I did say that I really like them. That's not really a make or break for me. I consider them to be a big convenience. Uh, but if you consider that to be kind of a make or break for yourself and you really like those anti-rebound bars too, um, the Forever doesn't come with one and there's no way that you can attach one. So do keep that in mind. But outside of that, this is a pretty solid seat and uh, I really, really like it. So at the end of the day, what's the right seat choice for you? Well, I did mention the weight limits at the beginning, so that might factor in. You've seen that they have two very different installation methods as well and installation ways. Things that might factor in, if you're traveling a lot, the weight of these seats might uh, might be a playing factor. This is about 25 pounds, and this is lighter at about 21 pounds. It might be the anti-rebound bar. Remember what I was saying about the fact that if you have an anti-rebound bar, 80% of your seat still has to be on your car seat itself. So that might factor in because you don't need to have a bar for this. Um, and it really just might be a matter of comfort based on what you've heard and what you've seen, what you prefer. I don't think you can really go wrong with either of these seats. These are still two very good seats, and I don't think that there's a wrong choice, so to speak. Um, so this is the Graco Forever car seat. This is the Graco Trio Grow Snug Lock. They're both available at Best Buy. Um, thanks for watching this review. My name is Matt. Subscribe to the channel for more car seat reviews like this and other tech reviews in general, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.